All right, friends, so here we are wrapping up, or not wrapping up, but picking up where we left off with the last spell. It's already pretty late, so I'm not gonna go super late with this game, but I wanna wrap up the, the last night of this game and maybe see where the next, what the, begin, the beginning of the next level looks like. Oh, I just got an achievement. Oh, whoops, what am I doing with mouse and, what am I doing with gamepad? We're doing mouse and keyboard with this thing, baby. Playing a game like this with gamepad would be weird. It's probably not impossible, but this very much kind of lends itself to mouse and key to uh, just general mouse and keyboard, general PC inputs. Let's check in with our tainted buddies. Tainted essence. That's right. Let's see what we can unlock now. So last time we had uh, survived uh, night eight, night six. We have a decent bit of tainted giblets to to purchase some new upgrades. Can't afford uh, more damage, but I could go for more armor. Scepters are tempting. What is Omen of Violence? To diversify your strengths? Hmm. All heroes gain more critical. Resistance reduction. Wow. Impressive. There's always, there's always new upgrades to consider. There's always some new ones. More accuracy. Yeah, that's pretty tempting. So crit chance is always something I'm happy to see. Also more health. It's only 15 health is the thing. But it's still pretty good. Mana, of course, is nice. It's only a little bit of mana. I was saying earlier how I never really need shop reroll, but we had a shop the other day that was pretty, pretty disappointing. So I think I'm going to get the shop reroll. I was like, I was like, I've never needed shop reroll. The shops are always good. And then we had one shop the other night where I was like, this sucks. I wish I would have got that shop reroll because we had plenty of gold, but nothing to spend it on. Um, I think we'll do the crit chance one. That sounds kind of nice. There's only one layer of these. It's not like the health and armor one where there's a few tiers of it. Or damage even, for that matter. Um, these are just one-offs, but still they're pretty good. Got some nice meta progression bonuses. It's very loud. Oh, right. This guy said we were going to get something cool, right? It says gifts in hand. Why are you helping me, mysterious benefactor? This is my destiny, and it is thy doom. Now, you're making it sound like your help is a bad thing. All right, so uh, more medium and heavy pant variations. I'll take it. Uh, lone wolf set. I'm assuming this is like has bo bonuses when you're attacking a bad guy that's has no adjacent buddies. Epic items. Found the shop or crafted by item productions can be epic. Oh, but we have to we have to unlock that. Okay. Uh, big hammers don't become available just yet. Ooh, the hand crossbow variations are almost available. That's nice. So we'll have some new things for us very soon. Very, very soon. Omen of Lone Scavenger. The first one of corpses. Oh, that's nice. So that, that one's basically for free. Cool. So once that becomes available, we'll be in really good shape. With some more upgrades. Nice. Let's level some folks up. By the way, oh, 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 real quick, real quick. Very, very important. Extremely important. I need to re-enable the channel point incentive. The channel point redemption. We can have people rename our characters. It's extremely important. Because we have... There we go. We have, we have, I think, one relatively normal named person, and that's not going to fly. We need, we need, like, goofy names across the board. Pimple Popper, Fart Sniffer, Gorbo, and Asperger. Um, I guess Gorbo, right, Gorbo is, like, kind of weird, but it's not that weird. Speaking of Gorbo, let's go ahead and level him up now. He is our kind of secondary ranged person. Um, when they have three or less move points, move attacks, and attacks in melee range. Well, this guy's never going to be in melee range, so no, no thank you on that one. And Ogasso says, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. And so that's, that's a pretty, that's a pretty, uh, a unique one. I'm not sure how one blasts a queef, but yes. Yes, this man is definitely a queef blaster. He was a queef blaster right from the get-go. Confirm. There he is. Does he does he just have the face of a Queef Blaster? Does he just kind of have that look? Some people you can just tell. You can just tell. Every time you spend seven or more mana points, you get a bunch of action. You get a action point restored, which is good. 
less reliability, but more skill range. That seems amazing for a guy like this. Blood magic is cool. Lone wolf. No other heroes around us in a range of five. That's actually really good, too. I like both of these, but I think longer weapons works really well for this guy in particular. Um, so I'll go with that one. But the next level, I'd probably go for Lone Wolf. Full force, that's right. A forceful blast. Good for him. More move points is also a good idea. More move points. Wow, so this guy is like extra uh, agile and also extra um, like able to like far reaching, which is nice. More crit power, more reliability. One of these is good. His crit range, his crit chance is actually quite good. But I think reliability sounds nice. That means like more likely to do the upper ends of his damage range. So, very good. Asperger is already level 6, but Pimple Popper is level 6. That's exciting. Good job, Pimple Popper. He has one perk point. Let's see. He What is this guy? He is our... He's our main ranged person. He's our main ranged person. Um, I really like that one. Shorter weapons is the opposite, of course, of what we saw earlier. Propagation. He does have one. He has one propagation skill. There might be more where that came from. He's never in melee range. Every eight action points spent, you get the next mana consuming thing costs less. The thing with this guy, doesn't he have the thing that makes us do... We have a better crit chance as we have less mana. So I feel like I don't really care too much about mana being cheaper. I feel like I, 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 this guy works well when he doesn't have a ton of mana. Um, blood magic, I don't know if I love. Especially because that would make this thing not work well. Last cannon is tempting. More crit chance would be kind of cool. It's actually really tempting because he, again, this is a ranged guy. If I do my job right, he's not going to be in melee range hardly ever, obviously. Hopefully. Hopefully hardly ever. Um, spiky counter is kind of cool, but then he lowered, then he loses his dodge a bunch. Um, Perseverance is kind of cool. His bad guys are sometimes very dodgy, and that gives us more action points to work with. And more accuracy. Every time a bad guy dodges us twice. Hmm. Probably one of those two. Probably either that or Glass Cannon. Glass Cannon has a pretty neg a pretty not great downside. Um, whereas this one is, is like, always going to be, like, there's always a chance it can be helpful with not really much for a downside. Great chance going up is pretty sexy. Let's do it. Let's do it. I fear nothing. And of course, we can always get more health back if we wanted to. In fact, I might even do that. I might even say get us more health, or I might see more damage. Or accuracy, for that matter. Let's do accuracy. I'm feeling bold. Experience gain. Reliability. Reliability wouldn't be a bad idea. This game is kind of nice. Like this guy gets a lot of kills in general, so we're going to do reliability. That's it for... Oh, wait. I think one more person can level. Fart Sniffer. Who can forget about Fart Sniffer? I would be remiss to forget about Fart Sniffer. So, shorter weapons. He is our spellcaster. I don't know if I should go for shorter weapons. That seems like a not great idea. Energized is tempting. Lone Wolf is... I feel like, no, he... We keep him around quite a bit so that he can use that, um... That, uh... That invigorate spell. That transfer spell. He doesn't have any... Oh, wait, no, he does have... Magic Missile as the initiator skill. So he would go from 4 to 6, which is pretty cool for Magic Missile. More dodge and more move points. That's tempting. So Energize is good too, though. Magic Fuel is good. Hmm. Oh, very good. Oh, skill range. If we didn't move. If we didn't move, we get better. Yeah, sometimes we do kind of root in place for this character, don't we? Except he is very mobile, so I don't know. Of course, having the cheer ability is always nice. More people to cheer is good. I might go for that, just because it's a free ability anyway. Yeah. Lone Wolf is nice. Initiators. Yeah, a lot of these I like. Let's go for the cheer ability. I probably should have gotten that even sooner. 
TBH. Damage goes up a bunch, or critical chance goes up by a bunch. Let's just do damage in general. There's our crit amount, 61, 65%. Stun chance goes up, but only, only when you have stun chance. Momentum makes no sense. Daily mana regen wouldn't be a bad idea. Opportunism. Eh, it's just okay. I could re-roll. Let's re-roll. Eh, let's just do daily mana regen. That's what I would have done anyway. That's fine. So we're all leveled up. Build new structures. Right, 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 right. Now we're getting into it. So, and check out the inn. But we're still at our maximum. Yep, no more mages, no more heroes. So, even though like some of these would be great, I would recruit them if I could, but we are at our max capacity. So no dice there. Oh, my knight reward, right. I forget about that. That heavy armor? It's a medium armor. Who even has medium armor right now? Um, I'm sure that really makes sense. He has heavy armor, of course, and he should have heavy armor. Um, light armor. I'm sure medium armor really is necessary at this point, so I might not take that one. Yeah, I'm not going to take that one, I don't think. A new hammer. That's kind of cool. A new spell book. This guy's main hammer. This would be... Now, it's rusty. So, it's a plus three. So, that means the max damage is a little bit worse. But the main damage is better. Or the base damage is a little bit better. Propagation doesn't make a difference here, though. We don't care about propagation. Because I don't think this guy has any propagation skills yet. Maybe he'll get some eventually. But not with hammers. So, that's really hardly better at all it's it's like a it's really just a slight trade-off so maybe the novice's tome no oh, except the oh okay no actually never mind never mind it's a little bit better the daily mana region i do like though the to the poison damage i don't really care too much about but more dodge is nice daily ma mana regen plus two plus two is actually pretty good Pretty generous. Yeah, none of these are really that good, honestly. They're all just kind of okay. Um, it wouldn't make sense to give the hammer to anybody else, or just hang on to it, obviously. So yeah, I guess I'll get this guy. More damage, but less mana regen. I think it's fine. It's just okay. All these are just kind of okay, honestly. So, let's take a look at this guy. It's a bummer, too, because this one's rare, whereas this one's just uncommon. But the plus two is what kind of gives it the extra juice. And dodge is always... It's always nice to have more dodge. So, I'll keep that for now. Anything else in the shop that I would consider? There's a plus three, so it could be even better. Yeah. The opportunism and isolation. Actually, isolation can be good. It can be good. A rusty axe that is just a regular axe, I think. Oh, uh, it's... Oh, Q and E, there we go. So, it would be less damage overall. Different skills, but I kind of like the hammer skills. They're pretty good. Oh, we have our first cannon. That's actually kind of exciting. A cannon would be kind of cool. A two-handed ranged cannon weapon, yeah. Yeah, let's see how that compares to... So I don't think I would get rid of my standard hand crossbow, but I might get rid of my bow. Uh, What's the bow not show? Hand crossbow plus three. It's this guy, right? Oh, tab. There we go. So yeah, way more damage than the short bow. The range is not as good, but it's still pretty good. It's also better than... um, It's better than... Hand crossbows, at least, so it's still pretty nice. Yeah, I kind of want to buy that. I want to get that. Battle Mage Amulet. More magic damage? That's nice. What does my current fella have? His mana ring. And it's nice, but this is more damage. That's that's a pretty compelling argument. Um, Health and damage. Man, I'm kind of going a little bit crazy on buying things for my guys, but at the same time, why not? I think he's the only one that can wear 
helmet anyway. So the rusty axe I'll hold off on. Medium armor makes no makes no sense for us. Um, heavy greaves. You're a melee guy. You are. Some more block. Pretty gold. It's not cheap. Less accuracy. But more block. Yeah, I th and more armor, which is kind of huge too. So anybody that could stand to have better cloth armor. So this is l no armor, but more dodge and more movement. Does anybody want generally generally better movement? Maybe this guy, except that plus nine to mana is pretty good. Yeah. Critical power. Critical power is nice there as well. So the only person I think I might give this to is this person. And this is, yeah, this is our standard move guy. Or st our standard um, range guy, that is. Yeah, I don't think I like it enough. I think it's fine. So this is... Oh, right. This is the other one I was looking at. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. But, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'll do it. So I'll sell the old one. And then... Go and outfit our, our dudes with the cool new stuff we just got. So, Magic Man, you get this. I'll sell this old one as well. And I think... Hey, you don't get a second slot yet. So yeah, we're gonna give that to you instead of the Magic Regen. We could eventually open a second slot for it, which is nice. Oh, you can actually wear a helmet. I didn't, I didn't think you could, actually. So you can do even more damage. Hold that thought. Unless I can give that to this guy. Oh, uh, not this guy. This guy, you get... Um... No, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna... I, well, actually, should I give that to that guy? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I want to give this guy a helmet, but he can't wear helmets, unfortunately. Why? Oh, claustrophobic. That's why. So it's a... It's one of his... One of his abilities. One of his, uh, his quirks, I guess. Let's wear that for now. Get the heavy greaves. Bam. No helmet for you. This guy can wear a helmet. He has more health. He, he probably needs... Let's give it to this guy. Yeah, I think the other guy needs the health more than the other... More than the first one does. Should I give this guy the cannon instead? Instead of the hand crossbow. He doesn't really have anything that procs with the hand crossbow very well. So maybe it makes the most sense to give that to him instead. Now he could have a second skill set. Or a second weapon set, that is. So, you know, he's not locked in. I give the shield to this guy. But yeah, that, the realistically speaking, he's never going to have... So I say that. You know what? Yeah, I will give this guy the shield. I think it makes more sense for him to have it as an offhand. Because I think that means when we switch, if like we end a turn with him with, have, with those weapons out, I think it's it means he'll have that uh, he'll have that extra block. I think it makes more sense for him. Oh, and there's Galanith, man, oh, man, oh man, Galanith, there's two freaking kind, man. Galanith raided just a couple days ago, and he's just, he's coming in for another one. Thank you, my friend. Very, very kind. Holy shit. That's so nice. Get raided, you nerd. What's up, not? Gauna, thank you, my friends. Thank you for popping in. Doing Person of the Year. I don't think I've heard of that one. The Distant Future of 2006. My God. The Distant Future of 2006. Thank you for those raids. Uh, Gauna, he hit us last, last week with a raid, and he's coming back for more. We're playing more of the last spell. I think we might have been playing this game when you raided us last. We were playing... Uh, we actually played a couple things tonight. We played Abiotic Factor with one of our friends. For a couple hours, we played the Rogue Prince of Persia and finished that demo, and it's very good. That was a really fun time. Now we're rounding up the night with a little bit of the last spell to to, to help tuck us in, you know, for the night. It's getting kind of late. We're gonna be wrapping up in probably 30 or 40 minutes or so, but we wanted to make sure we get a nice little nightcap, a nice last spell nightcap to ensure we all have nice snuggly dreams tonight. Um, I just gave this guy a cannon. We're, we're giving our bunch of our dudes some cool new weapons. This is actually going to be the last combat of this level of of this of this of this uh, this town that we're in. And um, we're not about to beat the game, obviously, but this is the end of the first level of the game, basically. So we're kind of going through and outfitting our dudes with some fun things before we uh, before we go to the next uh, the next level. I think I might switch out for that hand crossbow for this guy. 
because he has just a throwaway crossbow. We've got something slightly better for him. There you go, bud. So I'll sell that one. By the way, Galaneth, if you have any clips you want to share, as you know, as you know, whenever somebody raids, I'm always super excited. Super, super excited to at least offer that as an offer that up as an option. Um but, uh, but yeah. Oh, oh also, that's actually kind of weird. I didn't even notice the I even noticed the uh, the text on the screen was different. That's kind of weird. It said something different earlier. That's weird. Yeah. Anyway, now it says, yeah, now it says stalker. Oh, I, re I read your stream title. That's uh, I thought I misread it. I thought it was the, the name of the game. I was like, what the fuck is this? I thought that was the name of the game. I just misread the, the text. I was I was uh, I was all all out of sorts. Just a little stinker raid. Have I unlocked the ballista? I don't think I have. We we did get cannons a little bit earlier. Oh, that looks badass. We did get cannons earlier in the uh, kind of meta progression screen. I don't know if I can go back to that screen right now. The one where you use the tainted essence to buy stuff. We bought cannons. We've bought like some basic across the board stat upgrades. And there was like spiked walls and a couple of other cool DLC only items we haven't gotten yet. But when I saw the cannons, I was like, all right, we have to try that. That just sounds too cool. Let's build some defenses, although there's not a lot that we need right now. Let's do building stuff first. Um, we could upgrade the houses to get more workers, which wouldn't be a bad use of our resources, be, to be perfectly honest. Um, this guy, I don't want to raise his mana up, but I definitely want to raise these guys' mana up. In fact, this guy in particular, I think he has the thing that makes him do more damage when he has more mana. Yeah, his current mana. So I definitely want to get him raised up. But this guy too. They're both solid, I think. Let's do a mana well for you. Bam. And probably one for the other guy too. Don't want to leave out the other guy. Just because I haven't even looked at what his skill set looks like. There's a cannonball that costs just action points. This one costs movement points. That's kind of weird. Rocket jump, yeah. But this one only costs one. Not as many, not as much damage, but can stun really well, which is nice. And then this one is crazy, obviously. This is the Armageddon skill. Very expensive. They're pretty sweet, yeah. The Blessed Ballista. So it's something to to uh, to watch for, for sure, then. As you can probably tell, I'm still pretty new to the game, obviously, by virtue of the fact that we're still in the first level. And I'm, like, taking my sweet time to, you know, kind of kind of unlock the secrets of this game. Go ahead and get you healed up. Bloop. I think he was the only person that actually took damage. Oh no, this person took one HP. One HP of damage. Um, just trying to think where I want to spend my resources and spend my workers. We could mine out some stuff if I wanted to get more gold. Realistically, there's not much I need gold for, especially because if we go here, we can just get a bunch of gold with workers. I think by this point, what I'm more interested in is stuff to help us for this last uh, level we're about to start and also get more of the tainted essence because that's something that helps us across the board that stuff those are upgrades that are always helpful those things that are always helpful across the board in fact i think what i might do is upgrade some houses this one's maxed out so let's upgrade that one because that gives us more workers so that's kind of a no-brainer more workers seems like a like a really nice thing to focus on. So now we're mostly out of gold, but 25 there, 25 there, which is pretty nice. We can do that twice. So this there's kind of a kind of a sweet spot to kind of focus on. Now we're up to 78 again. I can get myself another worker. So yeah, it's like trying to find the optimal approach. Finish the seals. Seal four though. New gimmicks that are pretty tough though. This game is at times kind of opaque. I mean. I feel like it hasn't been overly complicated yet, but there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of times where my brain starts to smooth over a little bit as I as I try to comprehend it's 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 not really the systems but just the depth of the systems available. Just all the skills to consider, all the weapon types, all the options on how to like arrange your fighters, that kind of thing. It's cool, but it's also like a bit much at times. We have five workers left. Um, are there any other houses that I could upgrade? I think that's it, actually. 
So we don't really have much need for more gold, really. We also don't really have much need for more... Um... For more materials. I, I mean, we could build... We can, um... Build more of the barricades, which are nice. Especially considering that everything's gonna be coming at us from all sides, obviously. All possible sides. I think all the walls are reinforced, though. I don't think there's any... Actually, here, I think I can even do it this way. Um, is there an upgrade option? There's repairs. Repair defenses, yes. Okay, so that's nice. I thought there was maybe like a way to say, yes, upgrade everything. Scavengers camp, gold mine. Now we don't need those. Yeah, cause, so basically, I was going to look forward to see if there was any standard walls I could upgrade. It's a pretty good game. Yeah, I, I do like it. I do like it. And I, um, I'm i not sure I'm going to stream much more of it in the immediate future. This might be like a game I kind of come back to from time to time. There's other games I want to play. I want to stream fairly soon. And, uh, you know, it's the ultimate challenge. The ultimate struggle of having a billion things you want to play and stream. And only so much time in the world. Only so much free time available. For anybody wondering. Alex, what's happening with this mana well? It's a weird place for that mana well. Yes, I know. I... In my moment of weakness, when I was in the in the very beginning of this game, I didn't understand quite what I was doing. I uh, I could demolish it if I really wanted to, but I just built some barricades around it and I've washed my hands of it. So yeah, that's the thing. So there's really not a lot we can do with materials right now. So, I mean, you can... I could build more walls inside the base, but yeah, you can't build them outside the base. All you can build are uh, just a spam ton of barricades. And I guess that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of place them around more or less randomly. Although trying to find choke points can be kind of nice. You know, trying to find like little narrow passages to kind of funnel bad guys in. That can be kind of useful sometimes. But at the same time though, yeah. It's like if you try to overanalyze every little thing, you're going to be here for, it, for fucking hours. So... So I'll just, I'll just kind of place them in, in places that just seem kind of neat. Just like kind of cool. Funnel bad guys into like little single file zones if I if I so feel so inclined. But uh, yeah, everything's made up and the points don't matter. It's we're just here to have fun, obviously. Now I can't repair those even if I wanted to. Let it be known, by the way, that I should probably be focusing more on this one, because this is a rank two, whereas the other's a rank one. Shouldn't be too bad, but we're gonna have to. We're gonna have probably melee guy is gonna be by himself. Uh, main range person is gonna be by himself, and these two I think are gonna be helping each other out. These two are probably gonna be manning this uh, this tier two fight, and our two other strong fighters are gonna be soloing the single tier fights. I think that's probably how it's gonna go. It also wouldn't shock me if some bad guys came in this way, which I don't think we've seen yet. So I'll just kind of place some light deterrence. There. Emphasis on light deterrence. It's not much. They have like 70 hit points. So it's not much to show for it, obviously. But once again, Galaneth, thank you for that raid. Really, really kind of you. Shake hit us with a raid not too long ago as well. Shake the box. As did Alias. So we've had a lot of nice friends pop in, which is super cool. Um, if any of you nice friends have any clips you want to share, uh, it's the least I can offer whenever somebody raids me. Like, you know, it's super freaking kind of uh, all these nice folks to come and hang out with us. So if you have anything you want to show off, anything you want to you want to plug anything you want to talk about for a future stream i am super down to hear more of it but um but yeah no pressure obviously just appreciate people hanging out with us it's super freaking cool of you um i could spend money to get more mana back or health back i suppose i could even upgrade max mana if i so chose so yeah let's do an up let's get more mana for this guy i think oh whoops Upgrades Benediction. Oh, that's this. Oh, I should have done that first. Okay. So that wouldn't actually help us at all. I could... These are just upgrades, right? Okay. Mana gift. Oh, okay. So that doesn't really make us make, make it worthwhile. Just think, what do I want to spend this last bit of gold on? It's like an upgrade things, but I don't get anything for it. I looked at that sooner. Yeah, it's probably fine. Um, I guess I could build... <laughs> I could build a scavenger's camp just to say I did it. Cool. And then I can get uh, some more... F oh, I don't have the free materials. That's not an option. 
but there we go. I say I've got it. Uh, yes, upgrade this. And upgrade that too. Cool. So, yeah, no, I, I feel like I did something. There we go. We spent all of our resources just to feel something. By the way, I do have another tainted bargain I could potentially buy. It's like you get 10 armor for free. Or I could get one of these things. There's the war shield. There's the gauntlets. Um, or I could buy, I could unlock beer as like potions, basically. The gauntlets are close range, obviously, and not crazy damage, but probably have some. Oh, it's magic. Oh, it's magic. Oh, oh, it's magic. You know. Now I think if I'm gonna do anything like that, I'm going to get some extra armor. Just for good measure. Right. Now we are set. Let us begin the combat. So, where to place our bros? Like I said, I think, um, this guy is, he is, he's actually more of a, he's more of a, of a melee guy. Don't let the fact that he had a crossbow fool you. He is very much a melee guy. He's going to solo this side. He's going to solo this guy, this side. Whoops. This side. Bam. And these two fellas are going to batten down the hatches over here. He's got his cannon out, and he's super excited. Sir, because the cannon looks like it's one-handed, the way he's holding it, but it is definitely two-handed. Probably move them up a little bit. Um, he's actually going to... put him here, I think. And I think I'm going to have him start with the shield out, just so that he can... If, if, if somehow bad guys can reach him, he can get some extra block. Extra defenses. This guy can reach from a billion miles away and has great movement. Basically, all these guys have pretty good movement, except for this guy. He's got heavy armor and shitty move points. This guy's got seven. He's got 11. Good lord, he's got seven. So yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Let's see how it goes. Fight incoming. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, we have a boss? I wonder what those eggs were. All right, so we got... Oh, we got harpies now. Oh, shit. Not at all what I was expecting, but of course they would throw a curveball for the last fight of the night. Oof, that's unpleasant. I think he lowered the max health for that guy. So it's getting nice and weird for the very beginning. Bring a boss, a boss knight. Enemies will spawn indefinitely. Oh, it's one of those. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. How close you are to defeating the boss. Okay. Well, pray tell, how do I freaking get your ass? Obviously, I can't get up there, so I need to do... And he's invincible right now, anyway. I need to do something to draw him in. Probably when I kill his harpies. Or her harpies, I guess. Corrupted. Turbulent neighbors with a taste for raw magic. Drank from the darkest source, and their thirst can only be quenched with blood. So, yeah, they threw... They literally threw shit at us. They threw droppings at us. So, yeah, they lo oh, they lowered our damage, not our health, which is annoying. And they have this as well, which is just great, so it buffs themselves up. We have gates, yeah, we can get into the base. Can we climb up here, I wonder? Because earlier I was wondering about that, I didn't see any obvious, like, movement options. Because, I mean, they ki these kind of look like steps, kind of, sort of. This little square's here. So I guess we could try that, but the fact that right now... Uh, it says that it's invincible. Makes me think that we have to get through other phases first. Alright, so. So, so, so. We have these guys first. Can't get up there, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting we have to, like, kill the harpies. Like, if if we kill the uh, the, the enemies that are tied to the, the mother, that mom is going to come down and try to avenge her fallen babies. Shy creatures rarely heard. The purple fumes turn them into flesh-hungry monstrosities. They can lacerate, and they can throw their shit at us. Just great. Just great. So we're definitely going to want to go over there and uh, make them sad. However, this guy, of course, is going to try to... Uh, really, all of these bad guys are going to try to attack our base. Now, there's not a ton of bad guys here. Um, and I don't see any in the immediate fog. So I'm guessing maybe not every single, uh, every single 
wave, they'll spawn enemies in all corners of the map, but definitely in some of them. Because usually you can kind of see sort of where bad guys will spawn in. But yeah, right now it's not super... I don't like seeing any obvious like silhouettes of bad guys. So, for this guy, I'll just do a quick little... All right, whoops. So one little, one little tippy tap. Oh, it didn't kill him though. Wow, this guy is pretty beefy actually. The two hits to do that. Um, let's think about this. I will go. I go here. Yeah, we'll have enough movement points to be able to reach all the things that I want to reach. I think I'll go here, so I can do this. Actually, it wasn't expecting that would kill as well as it did. Um, all right, I'll just do this then. Hoping I could affect a little bit more. I'll just get these guys, I think. Killed none of them. Um, oh, actually, what am I doing? I still have two other abil. I've I've one other thing I can do. Let's just do this. We got most of our health back. All right, so he's out of stuff now. So yeah, so all we really did was just kind of attack these guys. I'm hoping that there is not going to be a ton more where that came from immediately, at least. And I'll end my turn by making sure my shield is out so we, we have a little bit more block to our name. Except it doesn't look like, it looks like it doesn't matter, actually. It looks like the block is always applied. It always says 18. No, well, regardless, it's still nice to know. So, um, these guys. Yes, 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 these guys. So of course range damage, obviously. Let's uh let's start with with single target shenanigans before we get too ahead of ourselves. So they don't have armor, as far as I can tell. I think they just have straight up health. And Shadow Bolt. Oh wait, no, that sorry, that is not the one that is undodgeable. This is the one that's undodgeable. This one does way more damage, obviously. If 240 health. So it's possible that two casts of that won't kill. Two casts of this probably will kill, though. First and foremost, I'm going to cheer you on. Also, I'm I actually should have this guy go first. That way, this person can use their uh, transfer ability, which gives us more damage. So, yeah, I'll probably just shoot some, some shots into that kind of pile of bad guys right there. So yeah, it's going to do a mortar shot there, which is pretty cool. It costs mana, but we have a decent bit left. Armageddon also looks really cool. I could just fire a cannon, which costs nothing. Awesome. That's really sick. I like that a whole bunch. Do that again, please. Beautiful. It's all night. All night long, he says. So I will indeed transfer to you. So I get a bit more damage. Um, I might do... Let's do this. Wow. Awesome. Let's see. Hopefully I won't miss. Wow. Really good damage. Um, I think then I will say... This guy... We, we pretty much got this, this one covered. There are no harpies on this part of the map, which is nice. I guess there's just those three, aren't there? There's three total? Yep. So I think what I'll do is I'll use Magic Missile to kind of take out those last guys. I'm going to have him do one more cannon shot. I'm going to move up a little bit. Let's see, what is that? That is a just a regular claw. Or nothing super scary. It's a blocker. So then... Magic Missile can definitely reach all the ones that I care about the most, so... It's four shots, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, it missed! Damn, I forgot it can miss. Uh, well, the good news... Oh, I was gonna say, sort of Damocles doesn't miss. Well, this guy... He's out of action points. Damn! Damn, I was really banking on Magic Missile hitting. And see, where I come from, Magic Missile always hits. But, you know, I recognize that 
th there's lots of definitions for magic missile. The magic missile between Dungeons and Dragons and Noita and this game all have wildly different implementations. I'll move back a bit. See how them both move back. In the meantime, I'll have them move up and try to attack, to attack these guys. Let's see what the next phase looks like if there are indeed going to be more waves of bad guys. Of just the standard fellas, that is. I have a hard time reaching very well here. Any other options? Nobody to cheer on right now, obviously. Um, the reality, obviously, I definitely can't reach much with this. Yeah, I don't even have line of sight, obviously. Hello, Shana. Nice we go. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, probably our best bet is just going over here. So yeah, really none of these. So crossbow, it's a shame because we really specced into crossbow. Being a big thing for this guy, but yeah, we're just too far away. What I can at least do is be a general, a general pain in the ass to these guys. And hit three dudes. Whoops. Yeah, not sure it's worth. I think let's do this one. There we go. And then I'll clean these fellows up. And then I'll armor myself. And that is it. Yeah, I can't even do any more movements backwards to kind of give myself some space. That might just be it for now. One action point, that's fine. This person is entering the battlefield. She's coming down. Oh boy. So we don't know where she is right now, but she'll approach soon. All the bad guys are indeed coming in. Okay. So sure enough, more waves are coming in hot. Not terribly surprising, obviously. I was actually hoping that this person would start towards me so, like, this guy could slap him around a little bit. I will... Hey, hello, Shani. Yes, you're a good girl. You're a good kitty cat, Shani. She's very, very insisting that I give her attention. And I uh, will not take no for an answer. Understandable, to be perfectly honest. Bam! I can do one of these for good measure. Also, bam. Not quite enough to kill this guy, though. He's being a... Bit of a stinker. Is that one of the big guys? The splitters? Yes, it is. Of course, these guys snuck past me, which is not helpful. Not helpful at all. My movement, of course, is so garbo with this character anyway. I think what I'll do is I'll... Oh, no, Shane, you're not getting on the desk. No, no, no. The desk is not for kitty cats. Not like it's going to stop her, obviously, but... I'll ask nicely. So I can't do much to get super close to this guy, but what I can do is at least make this person sad. Um, and I can armor myself, and I will. Armor indeed. It's not much, but it's something. This guy's next, and yeah, no harpies I can attack here. I guess I might as well just continue to thin the herd. But now I can actually reach with crossbow things. Take one step forward. She's a little muff, and she's a good kitty cat. She's also fairly old. She's, like, pretty old, but she's a good girl. She's a good little buddy, even if she's, at times, a little bit a little bit much. She's, she she insists upon herself sometimes, but she's a good buddy. I'm going to not attack him just yet. I'm going to attack one of these guys. Each of these guys multiple times, or just once, that is. And a nice miss there. That's pretty cool. Always love having a good miss. Um, looks like I actually didn't damage him too much. Oh, they ha they're like powered up by something. They have some kind of, some kind of hue about themselves. Um, they're kindled. Oh, it's a new enemy type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're, they're slowly being consumed by a bright flame. Resistant to physical, oh, there it is. Physical attacks and projectiles. So spells are the way to do it for these guys. Um, I'll go ahead and start to drop some of these guys, I think. Then I'll go into one of these two. 
satisfying noise, isn't it? Uh, in fact, it was so satisfying, I'm gonna do it again. Oh. oh, I'm out of range. Um, I will... Can I see from there? I can see from there, right? Yeah, I can break those. I can break those cuffs. Miss. Um... Oh, I actually can't see him. Oh, it's because I, I didn't need light of sight earlier, right. Man, that guy's so... He's such a dodgy boy. He's dodging so well, gosh darn. Let's move back then. So this, this guy did a pretty good job. He cleaned up pretty well, I think. Use your last spell. Yeah, I, when the uh, in the intro sequence for this game, in the title sequence, when they're giving us, like, the rundown of the story... And just kind of summarizing like the events that led to this game. I was so excited. I was like, when if they do a title drop, I'm gonna shit everywhere. I didn't say that, but like if they do a title drop, I'm gonna pop off so hard. And they did at the end, at the end of the prologue, they were like, they, to cast a spell, maybe even the last spell. And I was like, oh, uh, it was very exciting. I was so exciting. I, I was so excited. Always a good time. So once again. I want to hit this guy with my, like, my crappiest attack, but both these guys just have fucking cannons that they launch. Kind of literally in the case of this guy. He truly has cannons. Like, that's all he has. In fact, yeah, that's, yeah, I guess I could just melee attack him. <laughs> A little wasteful, but I mean, I, you know what? I guess if I have just something that, like, costs nothing to do. Or no, it doesn't cost nothing, but um, costs only a single, a single, a single action point. Bunch of goobers. I love it. It's a good time. Oh my god, Shayna. <laughs> Shayna keeps like nudging my mouse hand, so if you ever see my mouse jerk around suddenly, it's because I have a cat that is so needy for lovies that she will stop at nothing to get it. You would think she's been neglected all day. She clearly hasn't gotten any attention all day. Don't believe her lies. Don't believe it for a second. Alright, so... Oh, it moves you to the location, right? Yes, that's the thing about the rocket jump. It's kind of a commitment. That's the one thing about the rock, about the the cannons. They're, they take up quite a lot of juice. Um, it's just a standard mortar. How much damage is the mortar? It's actually not that much, but it's a it is a very good range. The splash damage is in very nice range, which is good. The secondary effect, right? Yeah. Oh, and it can stun, whereas this does not stun. Oh, this is a multi-hit. Oh, that's nice. Five targets. Wow, that's pretty dope. I don't think it's worth it yet. Let's wait till the boss comes into play. Then then we'll talk. So I will transfer to you. So I get a little bit more, more damage. Another one of those. Those things when I shoot really good. I'm gonna get one more cannon shot. Right here. Okay. So now I'm out of juice. Oh. Um, it's that movement real quick. Overheat. Oh! Whenever cannon skill is cast, one heat for each action point. Whenever it reaches seven. Oh! Oh, but the heat does go down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Roll over on your desk, kick the mouse around. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right, yeah. I don't doubt any of these things. So Sword of Damocles is the one that can't miss. Out of range. Oh, I have to I have to move out of I have to move far away to make this happen. Or I could do magic missile thing again. Now let's make sure this guy dies. I want to make sure he doesn't stick around. A rampage. I don't need to do... I mean, I guess I could transfer, but I don't think it'd be worth it. Um, Let's see. How much health do these guys have? 160. Well, I have to get past armor, though. So about 200. 176. No, I was going to say I should actually focus that guy. Can I reach from there? Uh, I have to go here. I kill him because those guys are super annoying and also not very nice. 
80 health, 80 health, yeah. Except their movement is kind of crappy, so I think I'd rather go for this guy. 76. Could I kill? Is it possible? Yes. It's not just possible, but it's happening. Oh, but I missed! Damn it. Right, that's what I get for celebrating prematurely. Oh, I forgot to cheer on the other guy. That's okay. He didn't need it. Uh, I think that's it. One hero didn't move. He didn't have to, I don't think. Actually, I will move this person back a little bit. Just a wee bit. Oh, this person. I should probably move them. Oh, wait, no, they can't move. Never mind. Okay. Oh, there she is. Or she blows. Don't tell me there's another one. There's another one? Oh, there's going to be three of them, aren't there? Or four, maybe? Oh, boy. We're in for the night. Into the long haul. Before these fellas pop in. Oh, boy. It's a whole bunch. It's a whole gaggle of friends. They shriek. And it buffs them up a whole bunch. And, of course, more of them. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt real good. Ouch. That hurt really good. I'm surrounded. Wasn't expecting a bunch of, of these ladies. They are very healthy. You have got a lot of health. Good for you. I'm proud of you. You're eating your vitamins. Yeah, I have a feeling there's going to be... If there's three nests... Oh, yeah, yeah. We already have the ones. Yeah, if there's three nests, there's going to be three harpies. Three harpy queens. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we definitely want to get up there so we can start to damage her. Really good, like. I kind of want to do one of these and just make all these guys really sad and dead. Dead and sad. So, yeah, let's do it. Now, unfortunately, I didn't actually kill any of these guys in the immediate vicinity. Oh, man, I wouldn't have a lot of action points left, but that's fine. It's going to make sure that these guys are properly dead, and I get a bunch of health back. And I can go here. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, Alex, that means you can't attack the big lady. And you would be correct, except I can do this. So I took all of her armor off, and I did... Uh, there we go. Did... <laughs> what is that? What is that? 66 damage? Harpy's nests or Arby's nests? We were talking about Arby's earlier, and Baconators and Frosties. So that is strangely relevant. Oh, Fatality, right. Fatality. Alright, so that's all this guy can do for now. Or harpy friends. We probably gotta start, like, sending the bros out this way. To help out with this lady. We're gonna have to have, like, multiple rounds of doing a bunch of damage. The question is, who's gonna stay behind and try to thin the herd here? Me thinks it'll probably... It'll actually probably be this guy. I'm gonna start sending this person that a ways. We'll still, like, you know, send some party gifts before we leave. But yeah, we're gonna have to send some, some friends to help. Oh, it's Wendy's. <laughs> in in indicative of the fact that, yeah, I don't do fast food very often, given that I, I get these things mixed up so easily. I haven't been to either in a long time, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, I think, I think that's the right call. I think leaving this guy to deal with the hordes. He's got those cannon shots, even though it's overheating a little bit. Look at that. Look at that nice gaggle of them. It's just, they're like so juicy. I just want to explode all of them to death. Do one shot there. I'm going to have you give my guy some invigoration. Make him feel really good about himself. I'm going to do one more cannon shot, but I think I should not have it go above seven. Because that's going to hurt us. It's going to start hurting us. Unless it gets hit, but unless armor absorbs it first. Yeah, it costs health. Yeah. Fire Blast. I'm guessing, yeah, that's what that is. Oh, yeah, I see it now, yeah. Which actually is kind of cool, because that means it could hurt bad guys immediately around us. So I do like that. Nah, I should probably play it safe. So another Harpy hit. Now the unfortunate thing is that I, I don't have anything else in the offhand. I can punch, obviously. Yeah, that was something I hadn't really thought too hard about. 
too long or too hard. The idea of running up and punching one of them is pretty satisfying to imagine. I think I will just do- we'll just see how bad this is. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Um, we could just go right for the harpy. Or I could go for this giant gaggle of them. Or I could do something like really cool, like a mortar shot. Like a really effective bunch of them. Um, we don't have a ton of mana though, so I feel like I should probably save my, my mana for like the really cool Armageddon shots. So, yeah, let's go up a little bit. There we go. So, did I overheat myself? Okay, maybe it only would fire starting from this point, so maybe it's not too bad then. Move back a bit. He's moved as much as he can. I can't transfer to myself, can I? No, I cannot. Um... Oh, uh, maybe I should- actually, I guess I could cancel the movement, so I can- Oh, whoops. Oh, right, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, his movement, yeah, I could cancel his movement. What? Oh, that's weird. I cannot cancel the, your movement? Oh, because I cast the spell. Right, I cast a spell, therefore I can't do anymore. Oh, I should have cheered him on! Darn it, I keep forgetting I have that now. That's silly. I can reach more of- these guys, obviously, because we have Fireball. Once again, I feel like I should I should save that for when things get real weird. Lightning would be really nice if this guy was back one more square. Or, yeah, yeah, or if these guys are back one more square. Then we could, we could like, have that really propagate super, super well. Kill the shit out of you. Yeah, the propagation spells don't really make any, any sense right now, unfortunately. He has 176 health. Action points do I have? I really have no reason to not just play it safe here. Kill the shit out of him. These dodgers, man, they're super annoying. I I'm gonna play it safe with this one. Two of these, because they're undodgeable anyway. So he's moving, and then up here. Part of me feels like I almost could have one of these other guys. Because right now we're kind of having... We're going to have two dedicated heroes fighting this particular boss. Part of the boss over here. Once this mage gets over on this side. Um, part of me almost wants to like abandon one of the sides of the battlefield. And just let the defenses fend for themselves. But I don't think it's going to be enough. So I feel like I should, I should stand my ground with this guy. And keep him, have him do what he's doing. I'm like, man, it's 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 unfortunate. So this does armor pierce, by the way. 288. Do a pretty good amount of damage. I'll do two shots on you. And then one on each of you guys. Okay, see, so yeah, I, I know we're armor piercing. But he still resists quite a bit of damage. We'll do... I think I should move first. Ooh, I know what I... I know... I see exactly what I should do. Up one more. Very nice. Let's send one of these shots back this way. Except I don't have line of sight, so never mind. I, I couldn't, so I shouldn't. Uh, I think by that point, then... Do the quick shot off offhand as well. I don't want to get too close is the problem. All these guys behind the rocks are in like in a weird space. So I think I'll just, yeah, I'll just, um, let's get health back. That's weird. I thought his health was a lot lower. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I was looking at the wrong bar. Let's hit him twice again, and then probably just go in for the kill on some of these other ones. Yeah, I, I vastly underestimated how much damage we were doing. There we go. We got him. Let's move up a bit more. And get these two. And then... Let's see. One more square. That's all I need to reach a bunch of them. Mm, yeah, again, I don't want to get too close. Is that enough to reach? It is. Is it worth it? Sure. 
Yeah, we're, we're closer than I want to be. So it's, it's a little... We're kind of putting ourselves out here, but thankfully they're fairly slow moving. We have a decent bit of armor too. 69 is not bad. It's actually quite nice. Some would even say it's nice. Some would say that. Yeah, a little bit worried about this guy just because, you know, he's kind of out in his own, but he's about to half back up pretty soon. Hopefully Cannon Guy will be able to, you know, hold them off until the heroes can take out the big baddies. Ouch. She's shitting on these guys, or this one person in particular. Less movement too, I don't like that. Ouch. Missed. Not a ton of movement, which is good. Okay. So this guy got shit on a little bit there. Kind of literally. Actually, no, he didn't get shit on. This person got shit on. Got a pretty gnarly debuff. The less movement points thing is a bummer because I really want this person to help. So we definitely can't reach and do anything of value on this side at least. I can I can barely attack that guy. Um also one thing that I, that amuses me kind of is that I'm pretty sure this gate is inaccessible. Also, not unlike how this gate is inaccessible. We, we actually cannot move through these barrels. Nor can we move through this one. So actually, yeah. Now that I'm now that I'm seeing what early game Alex did, what what early me did as far as like the level the layout for the barricades and the gates are concerned, we only really have uh, two gates in the whole area and it's these two right here. Because yes, these two are are uh, unfortunately placed. Now that I now that I'm like more experienced with this game and I realize the, the what I've done, I realize what old me has done, the sins that I've committed. I have to live with my choices. I have to live with the sins of my past. So let's go ahead and I guess just use basic attacks. Although we have that lightning skill, which is pretty cool, and now is a really good time to try it out. It would clear out a lot of bad guys for us, so let's make that happen. Oh, that was delicious. Yeah, that was very, very tasty. Could do fireball, but I think that's maybe a bit much. Let's just do some... Let's see. Yeah, 176. Yeah, that guy's... Those guys are tricky. It's 80 health, but you have to break his armor first, yeah. Not quite enough to kill. We're concerned about just the dudes in front in general. Man, that's still not enough to kill, dang. I uh, cannot do magic missile because I don't have enough action points for it. Let's kill one of them. Okay, and then you... Move up a little bit. We have... This guy has so much movement. So much movement. I'll move up a little bit more. Delicious. Taste my wrath, he says. We're at five. This will put us on seven. And all I have left... Yeah, it's probably for the best that I'm I'm not going over. Um, I could, like, go up and punch somebody, which is actually kind of tempting. Um, I could maybe kill? How much does a punch do? I, in fact, I'm guaranteed to kill. Get fucked. Bam. <laughs> now we then run the fuck away. There we go. Might as well. I could have reloaded. Actually, no, I didn't because it was a lack of action points. This guy did some stuff. Oh, I should have cheered him. I keep forgetting I have this. I keep forgetting I have the ability to cheer. So he's going to get to that side eventually. Meanwhile, um, is there any reason to not just beat the shit out of this person with a hammer? The unfortunate reality is that I am going to kind of be ignoring this pile of bad guys in lieu of attacking the shit out of this lady. Um, let's do this thing first. I think if there's like a way I could arrange myself to like at least hit other things around me. Thing is, this is just a free attack. Good damage. Six one, which is good. But this was, this is also like just as good, if not better. So let's just do this five times. Oh, it probably won't kill, but it's going to hurt her really good. Oh, but a miss. That's okay. So one more round of that. One more round of this guy just doing his thing and she's going to be dead. And then we can turn our attention to this whole situation. And of course, this guy will be in position help by that point. I'm assuming, though, she hasn't left yet, but she'll be leaving her perch to join the battle pretty soon. 
Also, this harpy has not moved. Or if maybe it's moved. Barely. I don't know. This harpy is just kind of chilling. It's the only harpy on the board right now. Um, I could move if I wanted to, but I kind of want her to stay on me. So I don't have to track her down. I'm also aware that if I move, she might move to like... She might like go around and like start attacking the walls or something. It doesn't, it doesn't say what... Well, they say they thirst for blood. So yeah, maybe they don't care about attacking the walls. Maybe they're more inclined to attack people. I'll stick... Oh, for now, I'll stick with what we got. Um... So anyway, that's all done. That's all done. So you, you are all that's left. You are all that remains. We are pretty, we are out of mana functionally, which is kind of nice because this guy has that one thing that says is uh, he does uh, has a much better crit chance when he's missing most, if not all of his mana. If I had something that cost one mana point, I would gladly do it. We have no such skills though. Um, I will is if that hits it's gonna kill him guaranteed so I'm gonna save that for last oh well that guy's already dead anyway in that case oh it did not kill oh it's because he resists the damage right I forgot about that detail he resists the damage because he's so cool Mr. Damage Resisty McGee over here so if I go up, or should I... You know what? I think I'm more worried about these dudes. So let's move back. Did not kill, but this probably will. 4 HP? Are you heckin' kidding me? I could poison him. Um... Yeah, it's not that they're hard to hit, it's that they're harder... They resist damage really well. Off to the shield. Yeah, I, I wondered about that, uh, Legate. Uh, also, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. If it's Legate or Legate, you can you can make fun of me all you want because I I sorry, sorry, I I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to talk. My brain doesn't work very well. But I wondered that though because right here it says we have a block of 18. Our offhand has a shield, which is pretty cool. But the block amount doesn't go up, so I don't actually know if. If switching matters, it would be nice if it didn't. It would be nice if it always applied the maximum bonus. Legit, gotcha. Thank you. Legit. So it was a third mystery pronunciation. A third mystery pronunciation. So yeah, so I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but maybe it's, it's best just to play it safe. Just to be sure that we get that extra bit of protection, because for all we know, it could make all the difference. In the, me in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can get both these guys. There we go. And kill him pretty please. We didn't kill him. Oh, right, because it doesn't penetrate. Arrows don't penetrate. Crossbows do penetrate, but arrows do not. Okay. Um, one hero didn't move. It was probably this guy. Yes. Oh, wait, no. He No, he moved. Never mind. Oh, right, this guy. Yeah, we don't want him to move. That's fine. I figured farmer. I, I'd be curious what is the worst. I'm sure there's been some cringy ones. This guy loves to shit on mages. He just loves it. Can't get enough shitting on this guy. He says, boy, I love pooping on mages all day, every day. My favorite. He's got a mage pooping fetish. Fucking weird if you ask me. Um, did I want to bolster him? Nah, he's fine. So now that his, his cooldown is going down a bit. Now, I could give him a transfer. You know what? Yeah. I might not think about it. I think I will give him... Oh, I'm I'm one square away from transferring. I could actually have him move towards me. And now I can transfer to him. Actually, that was unnecessary. I could have just had him do this. A one, a one tick. So you uh, do that thing where you make bad guys not alive anymore. the most juicy oh that's a juicy one. Oh yeah so then you get a transfer oh and more important most importantly i should have done this first you give a cheer at least we for we didn't forget about it until after all the turns had ended it was just one attack that we missed out on so it's one transference um i can now move anywhere i want to i want to like down there because then you get like some extra juicy hits 
And maybe even some extra juicy shits. The price is right. But the reality, of course, is the dudes that are getting closer are the, the, main, the main concern. Back. And that's pretty much his turn. So now that you've done a little bit of goods. Yeah, normally he's five. So yeah, we did the one. And he's out of action points. And he has no need for another one, I don't think. But rather those action points be spent towards taking these guys out. Magic Missile is tempting, especially because I think this guy's got this covered. So maybe using my uh, my cool AoE spells wouldn't be the worstest idea in the whole wide world. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. And then I'll sort of Damocles these two fools. Actually, is that gonna even gonna kill? Mm, no, it will not. This is my best hope of killing. Kill, that's a shame. I can only kill one of them. Um... Unless this guy... No, it's the same amount of health, yeah. Darn it. Yeah, that low... That minus 20% is... I mean, we've raised it back a little bit, but still, it's not doing us any favors. Let's get the guaranteed kill on him. And this guy is going to do his thing. He didn't see the name correctly. Yeah. Lage. Yeah. Like, yeah, the T is silent. Like, it's French. So, so elegant. All right, let's do... I can do, like, the big kind of ground pound. Um, there's really no reason... Well, I think I might save that for last, actually. Ooh, good crit. Good crit and good shit. She is down for the count. Not a moment too soon. I can do this. Actually, if I move to the right... Yeah, this is an archer. I can do a one tick to the, to the, to the right, to the right. Much like everything I own in the boxes. Then do one of these. Delicious. Now we're getting our some of our health back, which is nice. Um, I kind of would rather do this. <laughs> Maximum kill. Oh, and one of these. <laughs> Love tap. And you haven't been damaged, have you? No, he's not. So in that case, I'll just move back this way. So that's going to bring in more harpies. The next harpy boss for sure. It's Latin, though. There you go. Which is basically the same thing as French. They're like the same language. I like the same language if spoken fast enough. Or slow enough. I don't know. One of the two. How much health do you have? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh you're an armored guy, so this will kill instantly. Right. Most of them around me are armored. Double shot on you. Ooh, wow, yeah, good. Good weakening across the board here. I think I'm just gonna start. I think I'm just, just gonna start blasting. Oh, uh, too, too far away. I didn't even notice this guy here. here. I'll move up. There we go. Pretty much what I was hoping where they'd start dropping. So this guy's doing a great job of holding it down, except I think both those shots missed. What the heck? He was doing a good job until he started eating shit. There we go. Been doing a good job of holding it down. The other guys have been struggling a bit, but this guy's been doing a good job. Of pretty much soloing all this. So we took out his armor. So yeah, so he's he's gonna go down for sure. Um, we don't have any mana, which is fine. I, I kinda don't I kinda wasn't expecting this guy to have mana at this stage in the game. There we go. I'll move back a bit. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They'll they'll continue to kind of slowly edge towards me, slowly edging. So here comes Harpy number two, or number three rather. Harpy number two is probably gonna dive down to engage. I had to guess. Is it too late to flee? Never. Or rather, rather, yes, it is too late to flee. Never give up. Never surrender. Lots of buffs happening. They do sound alike. You when, when spoken out loud, they probably do. I don't know if I've really heard Latin spoken out loud all that often, honestly, so you're probably not wrong. Um. Alright, cool. 
Let's get... Yeah, this, this side I'm, like, increasingly less and less concerned about. This guy is getting a little bit overrun, but um, we definitely want to make sure that we're kind of helping stem the stem this this kind of this kind of uh little bit of an issue we're seeing with these dudes at our gates of course now this guy is freed up we can definitely help with that and, and also i think i need to kill more of the babies which is a weird sentence but it's true um how much health do they have they have 240 so i want to make sure i have maybe two of these basically two yeah two action points left or just the shred ready to go at a moment's notice So, that's the thing. I mean, my movement is just kind of shit in general. I think what I should do is I should maximize, like, damaging the, these dudes around me. Gonna slap you out of here. Slap you out. Um. I think I'll go here. Oh, I have to do one more. Shit, yeah, I can't do that. I definitely want, I definitely need to be able to reach her this round. I'll just go here. Hit you again. If I hit if I kill in one hit, I'll be very impressed. Oh. Only. Okay, not too bad. And I have yeah, I have the the offhand ready to go at a moment's notice, but nothing to show for it. That's okay. Continue to move that way. Kill another harpy, so that makes us, you know, annoying to her. To the to the bosses, that is. Fireball is tempting, although it would it would break things that I don't necessarily want to break. Now, this is a big guy. That's yeah, the splitter. Yeah, I probably should fireball then. A fireball right here. It won't hurt anything that I care about. That's pretty satisfying. Um, it's a pretty good amount of armor. Yeah, we're gonna need. At least two casts to kill him. Of course, this one is undodgeable, which is nice. So that's that's the safe bet. Big man is dead. That one is not too far behind. Good, 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 good. I have lots of movement, of course. No, in a way, I think I think this guy can handle it from here on out. So I think I actually will start moving back. Um, just because, yeah, this, this, this mass is starting to become a little bit massive. Because this guy will be able to, well, yeah, I, we, we would need this harbor to come to us, like, my guy, it would take us, like, two turns to be able to reach him anyway. And I would rather be able to deal with this horde that's incoming. Oh, I didn't even see that person down there, so yeah. Maybe that's what I'll do, I'll kind of move here. Oh, and I can cheer you on. I'll move here so that way if the, well yeah I mean hopefully they start to come they they start to come to us hopefully they start to attack us um but yeah I can either go this way to help out or go go for the south to help take this thing out so that person's done so yes on to you now with your overheating of three have the same basic framework yeah that's a good point too I mean I guess I guess a lot of languages work that way this like kind of a, a framing that becomes pretty familiar across the board. This guy's getting a little bit close for comfort. Yeah, that odd number of action points is unfortunate. Well, I could rocket jump and just kill the shit out of these guys. Um, it's gonna hurt a decent bit. But we have a decent number of action of uh, hit points anyway. And that was really fucking cool. <laughs> that was really cool. It was a little bit overindulgent, but it looked badass. So, sometimes you gotta make some sacrifices. Otherwise, I'll be right here. Because this guy's probably gonna go right for the wall. I'll, I'll be right here. I'm gonna block him. You gotta get through me first, homie. I should've, I should've tried to find that guy a secondary weapon. That guy's kind of, kind of non, not super efficient. Not the most efficient right now. So this is a blocker boy. I can still shoot him once. Um, I'm gonna see. Cancel that. I'm gonna move up by one square. That's a really good crit on a lot of those bad guys, actually. 
Run more forward. Oh, I actually can't see that guy. Oh, I see. I know why. I know why. I go. Uh, I don't know if it's enough, actually. It is. It is enough. Cool. It did kill me. I kind of had a feeling. That's okay. We don't have to be overly efficient. Like, we're still doing pretty darn well, I think. Move up one. And then... Stop these guys. And of course, I still have these. So I still have, yeah, so many long-range actions. Oh, wow, well, good crit. Finish it. Oh, shucks, that's okay. Oh. Our guy hasn't missed that often, so... I can't be too sad when it happens. Is she coming down? She is. Who's she gonna choose? Oh, we don't know yet. That'll be the next round. And she's shitting on Mage Guy, of course. Mage Guy just loves getting shit on. He can't help it. It's his favorite. Oh, damn. That guy got fucked up. Oh, it's a splitter. Oh, no, it's not a splitter. It's a clawer. That guy kind of did a lot of damage. Oh, it's because he has no armor, isn't it? He has armor, just baby armor. Damn, this guy got fucked up real not good. So it's a, it's a clawer. It's two of them. Yeah, they just they just really hit hard. Oh, it was crit. Okay, that, that, would, that would explain it. Well, now we definitely got to be careful when it comes to overheating. I think I got to cheer you on, for one thing. Uh, let's go ahead and... How much health do you have? It's going to take a, an actual move up and slap you around opportunity. <laughs> Bam. No more pooping for me. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, unfortunately, my movement is so shit. I could have this person move to transfer. Oh man, it'd be I, it would take all of my movement. I still wouldn't make it. Transfer, so that that wouldn't. That's not an option. I can. Really no great option here. I would probably do best to just like try to reach this any way that I can. Oh, that does reach. I wasn't sure that would work. That would work actually. So I can at least take these guys out. And armor myself up. Of course, I can just swing my axe at nothing. I just just to feel something. Um. So yeah, we've given this guy a cheer on, which is nice. Probably time to like move him out of that general area, since putting him in the way of things was definitely a not great idea on my part. Um. Let's have him. So that's a splitter, or no, no, right? It's a, it's a random. It's just a standard cleaver. The idea of like finishing a bunch of bad guys, but really, as long as we're causing harm, the details don't matter too much. That was pretty good. Uh, we lost an action point already. Total was three this round. Hmm. Well, definitely a reason then to transfer. Was oh, it because he got a debuff? Oh, we're badly wounded. That's why. That's why movement went down as well. That explains it. Still got revenge on that guy that hurt us. Hurt us so deeply. 10% damage, yeah, and it was a crit. So yeah, it was just a very unfortunate hit. Them's the breaks. Let's go ahead and do 40 damage. Um, two of these would definitely do it. Or I'll just play it safe. There we go. Harpy is done. Can I target that Harpy? Mm, I could move in. Should probably take these guys out though. Or I could go for a magic missile. I think I will do exactly that. There we go. Out of action points. I could start to drink some mana. Um, I guess I might as well. There's really no downside to doing so. Uh, wait. wait how, do I, how do I say yes? Um, wait. Oh, click it. There we go. Guess I'll do it again. Sure, why, why the hell not? No reason not to. Not for this guy. 
He's once again doing a pretty darn good job of just dealing with this whole situation. I keep forgetting if you look in the top right, it actually tells you what you're looking at. I, have to, I don't have to disengage the combat. I uh, don't have line of sight on you, but I do have line of sight on you, except I could pretty easily kill with one shot. Go over here so I can see a little bit better. I do not have line... Oh, because the blocker blocks line of sight. Right. I forgot about that, that little nuance. Blocker blocks. I keep I get blockers and armor fellas mixed up pretty often. And I think I'll go ahead and start securing some kills here. that guy. Do I want to go ahead and steal this one as well? Sure. That's a nice crit, though. And then I have this. I do a power shot on you. Get power shot on. Yo, almost 300 damage. That was big. Big, big damage. Big damey dams. Good round for that guy. This guy's holding it down, man. This guy's holding his own like a fucking pro. This guy's like, this is easy. Shooting fish in a barrel. How's everything going for you guys over over on the other side? And over here, we're like, oh, God, it's so bad. We're getting overrun and literally getting shit on by bad guys. This guy's sitting real pretty. She landing over here? Good. Let her fucking shit on her own bros. I'll send my melee guy to go uh, spank her booty. Spank her badly. Says, here we go, baby. Who are you shitting on now? Is it the mage? It is always the mage. Always and forever. Ouch. So, a little bit of damage across the board, but not too bad. Not a lot of armor. Actually, nothing penetrated armor at all. And this is, this is definitely getting messy, but... Actually, I don't even know if my guy can reach. There's just too much shit in the way. So I gotta cleave through to be able to reach this. Could start by attacking this guy, but I feel like I need to save my action points. So I still can't get through here. Um. And drop you. I still can't reach her fully. And what I can do... I can still just attack these guys just to prevent them from getting any further and get some health back for myself. Yeah, yeah, there's really nobody here I can I can reach with those skills. A little bit short on movement, just a smidge bit short. Oh, actually, what am I saying? I can do this. Oh, I misclicked. That's okay. I, I still killed that guy. I can do one of these. Nah, I wouldn't be able to hit her. Damn, that's a shame, but... Obviously, next round, we, we'll be able to get into the swing of things. Um, that's okay. I'll still armor up. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I do have another weapon. So I can poison her with slow death. Why the hell not? That's why I have this thing. It's not much, but something. It ain't much, but it's honest work. So no armor for me, but that's fine. We don't need more armor. We're, we're, our guy's a tank. Or does we have that second? That's my first time I've actually used the crossbow for that guy. Pretty, it came in handy there. Alright, so time for more. I'm just a little bit too far away. Maybe I will have you go first. And I'll cheer you on, of course. Do you have cheer? No, you don't. You don't have cheer. I wouldn't expect you to. Now might be a really cool time to uh, lightning the shit out of all these guys. Pretty delicious. Didn't kill a lot. Killed one guy, but weakened a bunch of them. So now this guy, he, if he if he just wants the uh, the sexual satisfaction of, of dropping some fools, or I could just shoot these guys. Cause they're they're kind of attacking the walls, which we don't really like. We don't really like when they attack walls. <laughs> and and I'm spent. Oh boy, that what what a long day. I'm exhausted. So I will have you indeed transfer. So you can do one more of those. 
and um so those guys i am concerned about i'll kill a bunch of those dudes just fire a cannon into the crowd and then you just do another magic missile i would need to move up a little bit we can make that happen though oh actually i didn't even have to move that far just one tick one dick to rule them all how much damage is this? This is 199, 95. Um, there's a pretty good chance this will not kill this person, so I'll have to do two casts on you. Because it does not break armor. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't say that it does. Um, b -b 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 probably the arch. Well, I'm not even going to break their armor. Nah, not worth it. I knew that was going to be all of our action points for that guy. Um, no, I have him stand his ground. He's fine. He's done. He's done. He's done. All right. Next is this guy. I'm starting to close in a little bit, so now my guy might be a little bit nervous about... The dude's getting up real close on him. I missed that one. Uh, can I hit you? I'm surprised I can. I'll actually I, I back up yes now I can hit no target oh there we go let's confirm a couple kills we're just we're just keeping this kind of we're just kind of keeping this line held it's doing pretty we're doing a I like to think a pretty not bad job of it we're we're holding it down Nice crit. And pretty good on that guy, too. I don't think this guy needs to move, so he's not going to move. Next is melee guy going for the harpy. And she did take some poison damage. That is per round, by the way, not just a one-time thing. Those guys are invigorated. Or movement, too. Oh, he's dead. Why do I feel so cold? The harpy got him. Yep, unfortunate. Our first time we've lost a guy. And I missed that cannon. That thing was pretty nice. I'm not giving up, though. Never give up. Never surrender. It was only a matter of time before. It was probably only a matter of time before that guy got got. I mean, that crit really fucked him up real bad. He was, he was pretty vulnerable. Only way to avenge him is by slapping the shit out of these corrupted harpies and make them regret the fact that they exist. If I go for this thing. Sure. We're definitely not going to kill her this round unless we get some really dope crits. Not if I miss like that, goddamn. Oh, and miss, more misses. What if we got some kind of debuff? More misses than I wanted to. All these misses, goddamn. It's still enough where the next round we'll be able to secure the dub. Secure the kill, that is. So, that's fine. Um... Yeah, stick with that. Go ahead and... Yeah, again, yeah, I've, I already... I missed that cannon already. The fireball's pretty nice, and of course, so too is this. Um, Try to make sure I'm, like, accounting for dead ends. Because it just propagates randomly. Let's start here. That's really good. That was really nice. We affected 12 bad guys in a single, a single casting. Definitely want to kill the harpy because that thing's movement is crazy. Use rocket jump. That's a good point. We probably could have. We probably could have. Oh, except well, yeah. The problem, of course, was that was these guys were kind of blocking him. But he, yeah, that's a good point. We probably could have jumped over, jumped over the uh, the gates because yeah, this gate, of course, is perfectly fine. So yeah, we could have gotten in, gotten him to safety. I don't know if like you can use like the temple or something. During combat, I'm guessing probably not. Or if you heal inside the inside the base per turn or something. So it would have gotten him out of danger, but... Nah, he, it's like... Gotta stand on ground and fight, man. You gotta stand on ground, especially because this is the last round anyway. Um... Alright, so... And the Harpy. I want to do... More thinning of the herd. I can do... Some more magic missile. Thing is, it's I can like kill this guy for sure, and I could 
Like, is the harpy really that big of an issue? It's an issue for sure. But maybe I should focus these guys because these guys are the things that are, you know, breaking our walls, obviously. It's got to be two hits on those guys. Oh, miss. It's unfortunate. I did not want that to miss. Yeah, I'll, I'll secure secure the deal. Secure the kill on that guy. It's probably the right call. Okay. Once again, I'm tempted to just have this guy abandon that this this uh, this this kind of battlefield here and help out with this situation here, just because there's way more of them. Obviously, this is only a rank one. This is a rank two, and it's starting to get really messy. Um, I don't know. I feel like I I feel like I'm inviting a problem several levels later, several several turns later. That is, if I uh, don't keep this keep this kind of side held for now. This will keep at it, but the uh, the the desperateness of the situation is not lost on me. Two shots on him. I'm not going to shoot him just yet. He could he could have shot from far away. Oh, I, I didn't. I assumed he would need line of sight, but he could have done the mortar shot though. The mortar shot, of course, costs mana, but still, that would have been an option. So that's a fair point. Oh, I killed something, apparently. Oh, there was a crit. That's what it was. As I always like to point out, the only the only kind of instance in a game like this when I don't want a crit. I don't know if Power Shot does any, any like, more, has better accuracy, but it looks so cool. I look like such a badass when I do it. That's so much more important. It's looking really neat. So, one, two heroes didn't move. That's fine. One hero was dead. Didn't think about that, did you? Ouch. Are you going to join us? Nope, you're just going to shit on us. Oh, the gate provides line of sight. That's good to know. Ouch. Ouch. Mm, little ouch. Oh, they're breaking the wall. They're really breaking shit now. Yep, yep, yep. This is what I was concerned about. The goodness that I'm pretty sure we're taking this lady out absolutely. So I think I'll just use regular attacks here. Run it. Okay. So then the poison will kill her next round. Um yeah, can't do that obviously. Which I could kind of see. Things behind. So there's two characters there, apparently. Or do I want to just kill her now? Maybe I should just kill her now. I'm trying to think, like, if that would make... If that would ensure that at the start of the next round, the next event fires as I would expect it to. Whereas I like the idea of, you know, taking out more bad guys. Actually, I was going to say, yeah, the fatality is not an option here. She has 97 HP, so I guess that doesn't quite count being available for, for for fatality. Maybe I should just play it safe. Let's just play it safe. She's dead, so not a moment too soon. And yes, there's nothing else this guy can do. He could move, but I mean, all these are things I need to deal with. All these things. Um, transfer. I guess I could move over there and offer a transfer, but no, I feel like I need to be here for all the for this whole situation happening here start here and oh, the promise it could go right there yeah it's like you want to start where like you're less inclined you're less likely to get a dead end immediately so start here very good i can do a fireball yeah i don't know these guys are going to start getting in there pretty soon should probably magic missile He's dodging, right, right, hard to hit, right. So I'm, I'm, it's nice that we're making the bad, the, like the hordes of them weakened, but we need to start killing them more, unfortunately. And this guy is consistently getting, uh, getting debuffed to lose a bunch of damage, which is not doing us any favors. I'm assuming that when the boss dies, the, you know, you win, you're good. I'm a little bit worried that like, 
when the boss dies, the game is going to say, okay, and I have to kill, you have to kill everything else, by the way. It's like, oh shit, because this is going to be a lot of cleanup. I think we'll be able, we'll be able to do it, but it's going to be, it's going to be a lot for sure. Um, so yeah, we can reach that guy. Let's do a one movement. Do you have that as an option? And seal that guy. Two shots on that guy, and him. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. I can only do really one more guaranteed kill on any of these dudes. Ignoring the harpy for now. Give me that guy. Okay. Good move, but I think... Uh, no, nah, it's fine. I'll stay there. Okay. This guy is an armor fella. Some lots of crits here, which is good. So I can hit that one over there. I still have a couple of other move options. I can move to the left. Now, do I have line of sight? Apparently, I do. Oh, only for this round, right? This guy has. Oh, final damage. That's actually really cool. That actually says that. Why is it so much lower damage? Um, oh, the block, I see. That is a splitter. Yeah, probably, I guess all four. Yeah, might as well. These guys are not nice. Oh yeah, now we need line of sight, yeah. Okay, I'll just, I'll just start sealing some, sealing some deals here. Um, I think I actually will kind of move in, be able to reach these guys. There we go. I'll be amazed if this hits this guy. I'm amazed. Well, damn. I'll be damned. All right. When heroes didn't move, that's fine. She's going to join the party. I hope she joins where the melee guy is, because he's doing a pretty good job of handling it. This is gonna hurt! It's gonna hurt real not good. Ooh, that didn't feel good. They're breaking the walls down. Oh shit, yep, they're at the city gates. Goddamn. One of them's in the base as we speak. Yep, exclamation point. I'm acutely aware. I'm guessing exclamation point means they could reach the circle. The crawlers, they're extra fast fellas. Yeah, they could reach. This thing doesn't have a lot of health. 100 HP on this thing. So, um... I need to start, like, kind of cleaving through these areas. Actually, speaking of which, let's just do one of these. It's nice. Do one of these. I carve a little path here so I can get to these fellas. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. I'm just kind of, like, you know, slowly kind of nudging my way through. Do one of these, except I don't want to hurt anything. Yeah, I need, I need into the defenses, obviously. One of those. Let's see, we're gonna sacrifice some health by doing so, but it's okay. Yo, we got Game Fox in the house. You know, I must be going late if Game Fox is here, because Game Fox is a fellow night owl for sure. They tend to go pretty late. So if, if I'm getting a Game Fox raid, like, oh baby, we're getting to late night hours for sure. Thank you for, for raiding in, though, friends. Appreciate you popping in. We are playing The Last Spell. It's a very good game, but also very difficult. We're kind of in a bit of a slightly do or die stressful situation, but I ain't sweating it. If I appear nervous, it's because I'm pretending to be nervous because I'm so oh, overly confident in my skills and the skills of our of our character here. So, so unbothered. Unbothered, moisturized in my lane, doing just fine. So, to this guy, not quite reach him. But what I do have is the ability to say, oh, hold on, actually, let's, let's cancel that movement. Go here and make this harpy sad and dead, which is the best kind of harpy. The best kind of harpy is a dead harpy and a sad one at that. But I appreciate you rating in, though, Game Fox. That's super nice. Super nice. You doing some more Minecraft? Very nice. Very nice. I know, My I know Game Fox does a lot of Minecraft with her community. Do you have any clips you want to share, by the way? So whenever somebody raids, I always love to ask if anybody has any clips to share, that kind of thing. 
Oh boy, our, our poor mage is having a bit of a time right now. Smothered in harpies. Drowning in harpies. But, uh, yeah, if you have any clips you want to share, whenever someone raids, that's always one of my favorite things to ask because, you know, you done me a solid by raiding in, and uh, I always like to see just kind of what shenanigans you were up to. It's always a fun time. I'm going to do some a mild amount of lightning party time. Just a little bit of lightning as a treat. Nice damage there. And then... Oh, I don't have the mana. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, I hadn't thought about that little minute detail of not having a lot of mana right now. These harpies are uh, being not nice, and I would I would ask them kindly to uh, to please stop, please stop being nice or uh, stop being not nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this guy. All right, now I have an out. Um, but on my way out, yeah, I would throw a fireball if I could, but that is not in the cards right now. Let's do a parting gift of uh, slapping some of these guys down in the process. I think this will probably kill. It did. Good. I'm not going to be able to kill that guy. But I can make that guy really sad. Oh, I can't. Oh, I actually do I have range? Oh, I do not have line of sight. Damn. Yeah, that one. That one part of the wall is blocking me. I'm going to save one. Ac actually, this is my one action point. I can go here. About by here. Hey, there we go. From downtown, it didn't quite kill. Oh, I, I could have cheered you on, by the way. I didn't realize I could see you from there. So yeah, I think it's exactly like, um, like, uh, Le 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 Gate was saying. Lee Gate was saying, where if you, yeah, in, in the gates, even the fences, looks like you have line of sight to be able to cast spells and shoot stuff. Hey, yeah, thank you, Prisma, and bye, Panic, as well. Appreciate you popping in. Right, I'm gonna move, uh, this way. Get back into the game, of course. But thank you again, Gamebox, for that raid. Uh, appreciate you. And I know it is getting pretty late. It's late for me, too. So we're definitely in the late night uh, weirdo hours for sure. As And I say that proudly as a card-carrying weirdo myself. But, uh, yeah, this is a boss battle. I'm pretty sure that once we kill the last Harpy who's about to drop into the into the fight, big Harpy, that is, that I think will be in good shape. Been a tough, a tough and arduous battle, but we ain't done yet. Not tonight. Not just yet. Not just yet. Um, I want to maximize my offensiveness. My my ability to cause offense. What if I just go right here? Just get up real nice and snuggled close. Um, still the whole line of sight issue, which I'm not loving. It's actually, I think I shouldn't do that movement. I'm just going to go a little bit close for now. That guy. This freaking giant piece of rock is kind of blocking my shit when it comes to line of sight. Because line of sight is kind of where a lot of these things come into play. I think the reality is that I have to just kill these guys first and then move through here. Because I think going all the way around, it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. So, I think I'll just position myself here. Just kind of go for broke. Damn, I can't get you. I'll do... He's three. I wish I could get you as well. Because that's going to kill this guy. Yeah. And of course, once we get our first kill, then the multi-effect, the multi-hit effect goes down. Which is unfortunate. The dogs are being silly. That's okay. That's okay. Now, I appreciate you hanging out with us, though. Appreciate the raid. And, and, uh, and again, for sharing the clip, which was super fun. This game is very good, even though it is very stressful. Um, the earlier levels weren't too, too bad, but I mean, let's be honest. The game was, like, going pretty easy on us, generally speaking. But we've learned, we've learned all we need to know. We, we've got we've got full confidence at this point. I got nothing to worry about. This this is uh, we've pretty much got this game figured out. Let's be honest. Look at that guy getting sniped easy peasy. And once again, this guy over here on on this particular side of the battlefield is sitting so cozy. He's able to handle single handedly all these bad guys, not a care in the world. And meanwhile, over here, the fucking world is falling apart. Lost one guy earlier. He's he's dead, dead, dead. Like actually dead. Can't come back alive anymore, un anymore, unfortunately. Uh, this guy did kill, uh, single-handedly has killed uh, all the big boss monsters so far. This person, however, is having to kind of abandon ship as far as this fucking flood is situated, is, is concerned. And we're out of mana, which is not great. So, yeah, so what I think I might even do is have this guy abandon his little quadrant and just help with this situation. Because, yeah, this is going to become desperate real soon. However, when this turn ends... And the harpy lands. 
Curious place to land, but all right. Not going to question it. The last one. Pluck her like a chicken. I'll do my darndest. I'll do my darn doodliest. Not uh, sure what they were showing. Oh, I think they were showing that more harpies spawned. So that guy did one hit. Did a bunch of damage. Death is upon us. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't look great. It does not look great. So one hit almost killed the circle. Like... It's that, that scary. Really hoping we were going to be able to kill that guy earlier. Now they're too far out of my range for Mage to do it. It's not good. What if I do this? What if I sprint this way? Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Oh man, I wonder if this is it then. I wonder if we're, if that's GG's. I didn't realize he'd do that much damage. What damage does he get? Yeah, okay, they, yeah, that is pretty, pretty high. Well, the good news... So this guy can reach. Of course, these runners are real fast. This is what this is what runners do. They're fast and awful. So that is a thing to consider. Let's just do one of these little parting gift. Actually, if I'm doing a parting gift, I'm I'm gonna do it big. Oh, except this will hurt the walls, won't it? Hi, Sheena. I got kitty cat here. I could. I guess I could do a single attack move up because I only need yeah I need five I, I only need oh wait no if I move up I'll lose an action a, a movement point and I won't be able to get back to this square in five I'd, and four I'd have, to get, I'd have to use five to get there so I can't move back at all so I can definitely kill these three for sure nice right, so if I could do like something more exciting that's fine just do this one Bleh. I can still make this happen. So, you know, we, we we did a little bit, obviously. Check it attack diagonally. I do have this, if nothing else. So, but I need to make sure I leave two action points, at least. I play it safe. I have this, of course. Let's do that. Build a few more. All right, so then we approach not slowly but angrily whoop <laughs> Shana, this is not a time for me to be clicking the wrong thing moving my mouse arm around kill the shit out of him we're unstoppable i don't know bro we're looking we're looking nice and squishy and stoppable right now yeah there's uh, of course our movement is so shit with this character so we can't do much more there let's just armor up and hope that we can defend the last little bit what i would really like for this guy to do is to be able to fight the boss but I guess it's going to come down to this person, but I think they're going to die before that even happens. Sure enough, this person is going to be abandoning... And I actually, now now that I'm like, I have the clairvoyance... If I would have had the clairvoyance to see where this was going to go... I guess I wasn't expecting this other guy to die when he did. With that gigantic, like, 90 damage crit that he received. For like 100-something. Because I should have had this guy abandon this quadrant sooner. Because he was doing a great job of holding it down, but... Now that I'm like seeing the writing on the wall, I'm thinking we'll have to move him out. But I think it's too little too late because I think this person's going to die the next round. Even if I armor up, I just don't think it's going to be enough. Um, we can weakening touch at least, which is something. Yes, Shandy, I can't really get to the other guys, unfortunately. If I get here, yeah, I think I think I just can't reach the boss, unfortunately. I do any damage. Um... So I can't move through these guys. I could try to kill one of them. Yes, Shane, I know. I see you. I see you. Believe me, I can't not see you. Um, it's a shame my movement keeps going down. Actually, no, my move... Oh, it's because I'm wounded. That's why. Yeah, my health is pretty low and I have no means to heal. Yeah. Yeah, the reality is, yeah, we just cannot fight this thing this turn. And this is approaching the desperation time for Sherzy's. I could send this person up here to try to kill some of these bad guys. So that way, this guy can just be focused on this side. The good news is there's no more runners that I can see. Because that was the issue. The runner breached the defenses and just sprinted. Ran, even. To uh, to the circle. And fucked it up really good. So, if I devoted this person's energy to being over here and fighting some of these guys. It would be nifty. 
can even cast Invigorate, or that that uh, that transfer. I can give him a little bit of more juice. Is that something? Hey, Shana girl. This uh, this this hoodie that I wear sometimes on stream has so much cat hair, specifically on this sleeve. And also, she of course is like you know doing her like cat slobber thing. So like, there's just kind of oh, this this one sleeve just has this kind of like very clearly like cat gunk. I need to wash this. Uh, it more than I usually I just wash it once a week, but I'm gonna have to start washing it a lot more now that Chan has figured out that she can just jump on my lap and and uh, rub her head on my shoulders for um for for minutes on end. Um, yeah, there's really no great solution here. Really would like to be able to damage this person, but I guess that, that's the thing. If I go in for the fight, this person's pretty much guaranteed to get got. Um, I'll, if I'll move here. Uh, I still can't offer transfer to this guy. I can do it here. I can also cheer him on. I'll do that first. I'll give him more movement. Quite a bit of movement, at least. And some action points. The movement is, is more important here. Move here. Yeah, I don't want to break those, obviously. I'll probably move here. That's probably my best bet. It'll position me better for next round. Yeah, so none of the attacks. Actually, that's not true. I have this. Um, oh, this guy. How could I forget? Except I don't have line of sight. Line of sight. Oh, okay, something is blocking it. Um, I don't have line of sight on you either. Okay, so if I'm doing anything, it would be you. There we go. We, we killed a couple things, which is nice. This is an unfortunate combination of not being able to see shit, though. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that's it for him. As far as this person is concerned... Weakening touch would actually be kind of cool right about now. I don't know which direction it's going to go. We'll cast it right here. Good. Helps counteract the, uh, the buff that the Harpies keep giving her. And then... I'll just kill this guy just because just he's getting close. Okay. So this person... Actually, we could shoot at the Harpies, which actually probably is the right call because they're going to be a problemo. Two, four, yeah. So I think what I'll do... I reach them from there. No, let's let's we'll save them for the end. Can't even see those guys, unfortunately. And aside, right, 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 right. Good news is we don't have we don't need to do a ton of movement to be able to get to those guys. Let's just move up a bit. Man, line of sight is brutal. Is that? Oh, it's because it's out of range. Okay, now I'm starting to realize the 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 issues with movement here. I guess I'll just start firing. Problem though is that this we have to kill them. Yeah, fuck. All right, that's about this. If I have this out and I move as far back as I can, can I reach these other guys? No, I cannot. What if I move down this way? Not even close. Damn. I guess what I'll do is... Hmm. What if I move back this way? Can I get eyes on you at least? Yeah. That's okay. I'll just do full movement. I'll just I'll just full commit to this. Uh, oh, it's out of range. Really? Out of range? What about here? There we go, that should work. There we go. Oh wow, they're missing a whole lot. There we go. Man, so many misses, holy shit. I wasn't expecting them to be this, this agile. There we go. We're out of movement. Um, I guess I can armor myself up. 
All right. Well, that's all this guy can do, unfortunately. Oh, that's not true. I can reach that guy. Barely. Just send a little parting gift to him. So we only lost out of one action point and I guess a free action too, which is kind of a bummer, but eh, that's okay. Uh, I don't think this, this is going to end it right here, obviously. Because these guys can't quite reach. They can't move that fast. Oh, that's good. They're actually going for the, uh, the main melee guy. Oh, they killed it though. Damn. One tap. Yep. That's a shame. That is a shame. So that is indeed GG's. Damn. That's really tough. This game is, uh, I mean, I, we knew this was going to be a tough one for sure. But man, oh man. I think my, I think where I went wrong was once that, w w the cannon guy got hit as bad as he did. Um, and then, well, not even when he got killed, but just when he got crit and the amount that he got crit, I probably should have used that time to abandon the top right quadrant and have the bow and arrow guy help out. I think, I think the two of those other guys weren't enough to hold down that middle area. Um, I think what I should have done is I should have had the weakest guy take, I, I thought like having w one stronger person and one weaker person deal with the middle area would have been enough. I think I should have had two stronger dudes to deal with the the, uh, the weaker area, the harder area, and then have the weaker person on their own with a rank one, and then just one random strong person on the other rank one. It made sense. It did. It did. But it's like, knowing what I know now, that's probably what I would have done. That's probably what I would choose to do differently. Otherwise, yeah, what else would I choose to do differently, if anything? Um... Yeah, yeah, that crit. That, when that cannon guy got dropped, that uh, that just made that middle area just completely get overrun, unfortunately. We can still buy some upgrades, though, because we still got a lot of the little essence fellas, which is nice. So, you know, we still we don't leave empty-handed, which is nice. Uh, more armor options, which sounds really nice. Um, armor maker, blacksmith. Huh. Oh, armor. Wait, no, that's what this is. Uh, defensive items. Sounds nice. Um... That's probably the right call. Oh, there's ballistas. We were hearing ballistas are great. Those are really, really slick. All heroes have... Wow, 10% damage. That's really good. Some of these are pretty pretty sneaky. Pretty sweet, even. Ballistas sounded really nice. I'm, I think I might commit to those. I know a number of people earlier were saying ballistas are so incredible. They're super, super good. Yeah, that's that's enough for me to invest in for it. Melee guy and mage together would have been good. That's the thing, though, because melee guy did so good on his own. He killed two of the three big baddies and, you know, it got slapped around a lot, but he was on track to, I think, handling it. I think. But, um, but yeah, at least melee guy would have been able to direct enough the aggro where the mage would be able to, to handle themselves with melee guy. Because, yeah, once it was just the mage, they got overrun. It was, just, it was not enough for them. The, the, the cannon guy was too much of a of a glass cannon. Too much of a weak target. So. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, but that's okay. That, I mean, I get the impression part of this game is to fuck up and have failures and have lessons learned. That's just part of the deal, so. I don't take it as like a, you know, like a super bad thing. It's just, this is how we learn, right? This is just how it goes. How the cookie crumbles. This one's pretty tempting. It's only 500 too, which is nice. Resistance reduction, so bad guys resist us less. More accuracy, which is nice. We did have some pretty unpleasant misses. Types of defenses. Types of defenses. That's interesting. I'm guessing that means like ballistas, that kind of thing. All heroes have more damage. That that one's pretty nice. I I I'm I think I'm just gonna grab that one. Um Especially because resistance reduction works to basically accomplish the same thing. I wanted to, I could also snag scepters or these war shields, which honestly might be kind of cool. I don't know what they entail, but when it comes to like cool weaponized defenses, that might be the way to go, honestly. The auto fire, nice. I have still decent health, that's good. Two squishies, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right, because it was an archer and a mage, not exactly high armor defense kind of fellow. So yeah, they needed some kind of tank fella for sure. I do not know why you've been the one to receive these gifts, but here we are. So anyway, do we get the hammer thing? I think we did. We were doing a lot of hammer skills earlier and a lot of crossbow skills as well. It's a new crossbow variant. Helmet variants, cool. Shields, man, oh man. Yeah, so the game definitely rewards you. Even if you fail, even if, you know, things don't go well, you still get rewarded for your efforts. And now future runs are going to go better, generally speaking, now that we've got this meta progression that's still building towards us. So, of course, we could try again when it comes to Gildenberg. This is number two, which I guess means attempt number two. I guess that's what that means. So we have the same, or a different uh, set of omens to, to, to choose from. Oh, I see. Here we go. Yeah, so we, yeah, we get to choose from these, which is nice. Okay. We need, to do, we need to do Gildenberg's first before we can start into Rundenberg, the DLC stuff. You have to prove yourself. Also, it's nice because now we know to what to expect when it comes to what the last phase is going to be like. We can start to, like, kind of spec accordingly to, uh, to yeah, what that final encounter is going to look like. Versus going in blind and not really knowing what, what to kind of, like, really build towards. So, yeah. That is going to end for the night, friends. It is 3 a.m. It is very late, and I have work in the morning, so... You know, I can't be, I can't be going until 3 a.m. on the regular. What the hell? That's my wife going to think. She's going to be, my wife's going to be like, Alex, you came to bed so late. What the fuck? But this was fun. We had a really good time tonight. Uh, really a nine hour stream. My God, I haven't, I don't, I don't stream this late hardly ever this often. But, uh, but this was fun. Really good time. Uh, again, played Abiotic Factor with Unstable, which was super fun. That dude's always great as always. And we got to finish up the um, a rogue prince of, the rogue prince of persia which was awesome just the demo for it obviously but the game is already very good and uh, just the demo is very good at least and when it enters early access next week i uh i mean I, I think it gets my recommendation just in general i will give the fair warning that that is an ubisoft published game and ubisoft is not in everyone's best graces understandably i they're i don't feel great about them necessarily myself but at least that game on its own just on its own merits is good and then the last spell, of course, was fun to play. Even though I got my ass kicked, it was still an enjoyable ass kicking. And again, we learned about the game, learned about the mechanics, got some sick-ass new upgrades, and uh, future, future things to, you know, just make future runs better, or at least the potential to go better.